Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn Pauly and I'm so happy you could join me today. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell to get my notifications so you don't miss out on any new content coming out. Today I'm participating in the Cat Scrappiness Hop and Giveaway. This hop is called the Celebrate Spring Hop and it is a hashtag driven hop. You can click on the hashtag title to find all the stops in the hop or you can find them all on the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel under the playlist Spring Re-Release Hop. I'll tell you a little bit more about the hop a little later on, but for now, let me show you the products that I'll be using today. I'm using the Cat Scrappiness Oopsie Daisy stamp set. I love this stamp set because the flowers have layers to it, and when you add layers to flowers, it makes it look more realistic. One flower has two layers and the other one has three layers. You get one leaf and a stem. This set does have matching dies that can be purchased separately. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to work with stencils rather than using stamps, then this is the product for you. I'm going to show you how the stencils work and do a side-by-side -side comparison between the stencil and the stamp set. It's hard to see, but these stencils are labeled stencil 1, stencil 2, and stencil 3. I love how the stencils also have layers like the stamp set. And I want to point out that the dies do work with the stencils as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is the stamping to show you how that works. I'm using the first layer of the flowers. And when stamping the first layer, you always want to use your lightest color first. I do stamp it a couple of times just to make sure I get a good impression because it is the main base of the flower. Then I flip it over and I do another set just so that I have extra of them. You never know if something gets messed up on one of the flowers and I'm already here doing them so I might as well make more. Now I'm going to put the second layer on the top base of the flower. Now I will tell you that at first I went crazy trying to line this second layer up. I just couldn't figure it out at all, but that was my fault. I could have spent way less time if I just looked at the back of the packaging it came with. It shows you exactly where to line the flowers up, and once you line it up, it's easy to do every other time. I just wanted to point that out to you. Here I'm going to stamp the second layer with my next darkest color, making sure to press down really good. I'm only stamping this one time because I don't want it to be too dark. I'm going to flip my paper over and quickly stamp the other flowers. And they line up perfectly. It's so quick to make multiples of the flowers when you're using your Misty stamping tool. Now again, here I'm lining up my last image, the third layer of the flower. And then I'm going to do the center of the flower. Make sure to check the back of the packaging if you need help lining them up as well. I'm using my darkest color for this layer and I am only stamping it once. I'm putting on my last layer for the center of the flower. I'm using the pointy end of my tool to help hold it in place. For some reason it sticks to my nail sometimes and I can't get it off without moving the stamp so this tool helps to hold it in place. I'm stamping it with the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain and I'm only stamping it one time because I don't want it to be too dark. Okay, now that I finished the stamping of the flowers, let's do the stenciled ones. I'm using my Cat Scrappiness Little Blending Tools. They're perfect for small jobs like these flowers. You can really control how much color gets put down. I'm just putting a light coating down on my with my lightest color. I decided I wanted to make this set of flowers a little bit lighter than the ones that I stamped. What I love about the stencils is that you control the coloring. You can put more color in one area if you want to and less in others. You can do it with the stamps as well, but I feel that the stencils just make it much easier and faster to do. I'm going to put the second layer on and the second layer lines up super easy to the first layer. You don't have to try and figure out how the stencil goes. It just lays right on top of the same, the same way that the first layer did. I decided to use the same color I just uh, used for the first layer. I'm not going to use that middle color just because I'm going for a much softer look than the stamped flowers. 
Okay, while I finish up my stenciling, let me tell you a little bit more about the hop. In order to qualify for the gift card, you have to fill out the raffle copter form for the actual giveaway. The link is in the description box below. You have until April 17th to fill out the raffle copter form. Once you do, you will be entered to win a $15 Cat Scrappiness gift card, and the winner will be announced on the Cat Scrappiness social channels. Okay, let's get back to the card. For the third layer, it just lays right on top again, and I'm going to use my darkest color for this. I'm also using it for the center of the flower, but I'm putting a very light coating down. I can go back and add more if I want to. I didn't want it to be too dark, and what I love about stencils is I can lift it up and see how dark it is, and then lay it back down and add more if I want to. For the final layer for the center of the flower, I just put a little bit of the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. As you can see, I'm tapping most of the ink off onto the side of the stencil because I really do not want it to be that dark. I just want it to have a tiny little bit of the brown for the center. I decided to go back and put the second layer back on this flower and add some of the darker color to it. The stencils make it so easy to do this. I'm just putting a light coating on this just so it matches the other flowers. Now I wanted to show you the two sets of flowers side by side. I used the same exact colors. The right side is done with the stamp set and the left side is with the stencils. The right side has more vibrant colors and the left side has more muted colors. I think they both came out great and I just wanted you to see the difference between the two and I'm going to be using the stencil flowers today to finish my card. Let's stencil some of the leaves really quick. First I'm going to make some of the leaves with a little bit of a darker green and then I'm going to make some of the leaves with a lighter green. You won't see that big of a difference until the ink kind of dries though, but there is definitely a difference between the two colors. For the center of the leaves, I'm going to use a much darker color so that it stands out more. You can use any color combinations that you like, but the center of the leaves are really quick and easy to do. Okay, let's cut out our images and get the card put together. The dies line up just as easy as the stamps and stencils did. I just tape them in place so that they don't move around. Okay, now that all of my images are cut out, I cut out four strips of white cardstock, about a quarter of an inch wide, and then I'm going to layer two of them together. This will add dimension when I put it on the card, but not too much dimension where it's going to stick up a lot on top of the card. Now I'm going to assemble the card and I put one strip going down the left side of the card vertically and then I'm going to put one of, on the card horizontally overlapping the vertical one. Then I'm going to trim the paper down to four by five and a quarter by taking a little bit off of each side of the paper. I adhere two of the flowers onto the card front, one on each of the white lines. Then I put foam tape on the last flower and I put that on top of the two flowers so it stands up off of the card. Next I just put glue on the back of the leaves and just put them randomly underneath the flowers. Now because all of my flowers are raised up the leaves slid under them really easy but if they weren't raised up you would have had to leave some spots without glue to slide the leaves underneath the flowers. I adhere a piece of white craft foam to the back of the card front. And for the sentiment, I'm using the Quokka Flower stamp set. And I decided to go with Hello Friend. And I'm just going to stamp it in some black ink. And then I'm going to adhere the entire card front to an A2 size card base. And to finish off the card, I'm using the Cat Scrappiness Onyx Black Pearls. I'm using this tray that Cat Scrappiness has and this lift and release tool. I put the black pearls randomly on the card and then with my glue and the wax end of the tool, I adhere them to the card. I love how the pearls really add to the look of the card. 
And that's going to complete my card for today. This card was super quick and easy to make, and I had a lot of fun using the stamp and the stencil. I want to thank you for joining me for the Cat Scrappiness Celebrate Spring Hop. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cat Scrappiness newsletter and fill out the raffle copter form for a chance to win a $15 gift card. If you like the videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all the exciting new content I'll be having. As always, I want to thank you for spending your time with me and have yourself a wonderful day.